I am really excited to finally be sharing Super Creator with you. Uh, this is going to be a short demo where I'm going to be going over the main functionalities, the core concepts, and really what you can do and how you can leverage Super Creator to become a better content creator, to make videos faster, more easily, and at scale by leveraging artificial intelligence pretty much every step of the way. So we want to democratize content creation. We want to help more people become content creators. And we believe that technology and where it's at today can drastically help us become smarter people um, and create better content with less time spent or less resources spent, and therefore allowing a whole new range of people to become content creators. So after you download the app um, and you log in, you're going to basically be going through a quick onboarding. I'm going to skip over that since I'm going to be demoing the app. And you do need to select a few topics or niches areas that you want to create content about that helps us understand a lot more kind of what area or what range of, of topics you want to create content about. So for the sake of the demo, I'm going to choose, uh, let's choose, I don't know, like web three crypto, uh, blockchain and once you do that, you need to select a few subtopics just to give it a bit more um, of an idea. So I'm just going to randomly kind of select them. And after that, you're going to get direct to the home screen. So this is the home screen. It comprises of two components. The first component on top of one I'm moving is a schedule bar where you have all the tasks related to uh, content creation in terms of reminding you when to post stuff, when to do stuff and so forth. I'll go back to that later. The rest of what you're seeing, these blocks are effectively scripts and scripts are a fundamental concept of super creator. You can think of scripts like an algorithm for content, for short form video more specific. So what I mean by that, it's a set of scene based instructions that help me know what to say, what to talk about, or what to show in the short form video I'm making kind of like Ikea instructions for a short form video. So as you can see, there's pairs of a text, scene one, scene two, scene three texts and visual assets that you can go ahead and use either as a green screen or display them on screen in the video that you're making as well as details in terms of where this was taken from, who created this script, maybe examples. That's me when I had hair about getting inspiration to see what kind of other people have done with this script. So first and foremost, how do you create scripts? Well, there's the old school way of manually adding the text and adding an image and so forth. Probably you would imagine that, but what's special about super creator is that you can create scripts directly from an article, whether it's a blog post you wrote or an article that you read, you could do that all pretty easily through the app. So. Let's say I am a big techie and I like reading TechCrunch to get kind of my source of information. So you kind of can scroll through wherever you're getting your articles. I'll try to find something related to blockchain. Here we go. Link tree has an article. I can just copy the link and go back into that and it recognizes it for me. And then I'm going to tap on create from link. So what is happening right now? We're fetching the article. We're analyzing it. We're summarizing the content. We're choosing a headline, which is that first scene, the scroll stopping screen that it al allows the viewer to know what you're going to tell them. We're preparing the rest of the scene scenes. We're choosing the visual assets for each of these scenes. We're placing the hook or a punchline at the end of the script. We're generating options for each one of these scenes. Uh, we're adding a bit of magic and fine tuning the script. And then we are presenting it to you, the end user to go over and just kind of accept, maybe do some final modifications before you start recording the video. And there you go. There we have it. So here's the new script that was created. You can see that the first scene says Linktree is rolling out some new features that will allow content creators to showcase their NFT. Well, that's great. We also have a few different options here. And that's what I meant by options. So there's, we're kind of offering variations and these can all be fine tuned based to your tone of voice, uh, or based on examples of what you've seen in terms of how you want to create the content. And there you go. Scene by scene, kind of the second scene is Linktree's latest is the latest company that is looking to integrate NFTs into their platform. The company's new NFT gallery link feature allows users to showcase their NFTs. Links. And so you can obviously edit these, um, but once you're happy with the script, you just tap on confirm and we will move into the creation phase. So we'll be prompted to allow the permissions and how are we saving you time here? So first of all, we are replacing and auto placing effectively the visual assets as a green screen in the app. You can very easily uh, navigate between the scenes to kind of uh, do if you want to do a one shot recording, but there's a teleprompter on top, as you could see, to make it very easy for me to know how to record. You have some of the, you know, general, I would say video editing functionalities, like moving around the green screen. We also have an AR mode, so you can actually make it immersive and put it in the space that you want. And of course you can use the back uh, camera as well. 
to go ahead and make your content if I want to do it on here. And I think one really cool thing that um, is also here is if you tap on the image button, we're going to recommend all the assets that are related to the script if you want to quickly change them. And we also have this AI button, which allows you to create original images just by describing what you want to see. So maybe you want to say like beautiful, let's do this. A beautiful Bitcoin comma oil on canvas. Faster. Create. And so now by describing that, I can effectively create an image just from describing it. What can I do with this image? How can I use it? Well, I can go for anything to display it on screen in front of me. It can be my own green screen that I can go ahead and replace to match whatever it is I'm talking about. I think the possibilities for this are endless, but those are just a few ideas. And let's see what it resulted. Great. So I just wrote a beautiful Bitcoin all on canvas. It generated these. These are all AI generated. They don't exist anywhere. They're one of one, one of a kind. I'll tap on this. What's also cool is that you can remove the background. So of any image, it could be a stock photo, um, or it could be a AI generated photo. And now I can even kind of place it on, on the screen. If I want to maybe, let's put it behind me. It's ready to go. Oh, it's right behind me. Move around. And of course, now it's, I just created this Bitcoin that is floating in space out of thin air. But once I got that, let's go ahead and record the video. Linktree is rolling out some new features that would allow content creators to showcase their non-fungible tokens. So you would go ahead and create scene by scene, record it, teleprompters there. You could edit it very easy, very quick uh, to go ahead and record the video. Once you're happy with what you've recorded, you can go to the editing mode, editing scene. And here we have a few more kind of functionalities that help you do it fast, quick, easily. If you tap on the thumbnail, um, you're going to see a few buttons over here. Uh, the magic wand button is cool because it's going to recommend and suggest assets to use when you're editing it. So here we go. Content creators can showcase their NFTs. Linktree is rolling out new features. This is huge use for the Linktree community. Why don't I tap on this button? It places it above my head automatically because it recognizes where my face is in the video. And yeah, I can go ahead and just add some of these kind of how to call these, but text stickers onto the screen, do it like that. We also have auto trimming, smart trimming. So based on when you start speaking and stop speaking at the end of the video, we're going to trim that all you for, for you automatically. Once I'm happy with that, you can save, and then I'm going to go ahead and tap on this last button over here. And now we're going to go into the post-processing kind of phase. So after you've made your video, how is Super Creator saving you time? How is Super Creator helping you? Well, a few ways we're automatically going to create the useful assets that you would need to uh, use when you're posting your video. So what are those kind of useful assets? Well, thumbnail, first, first of all, catchy title, hashtags, caption, and even sort of a, a LinkedIn style, I would say, ADA post. So attention, interest, desire, action. You could edit all of these again. You can fine tune them based on your tone of voice and you could edit them, of course. So here you go. I created that um, one video few, few minutes. That's the first thing, but it's not about just going zero to one. It's not just about making a bunch of random videos that have no connection to each other in today's world of content creation. You want to be creating a bunch of content. Three to four videos a day is what is recommended. So if you go to your profile here, you're going to see a few things. First thing is the video you just made. Second thing is the script you just made. And the third tab is what's called series. Now series are effectively a collection of episodes about a certain topic that allow you to make a constant flow of content that you're kind of telling the stories, a story that is built upon episodes and each episode helps you tell more of the story. So I tapped on create a series. I have an audience here. You can enter any audience that you want. The more specific the audience, the better results you'll probably get, or kind of the, the more unique results you're going to get. I have web three blockchain enthusiast entered here. I'll tap on that. I'll then go to see what it generates in terms of series name. So maybe we'll choose what are smart contracts. I'll choose as that as the series name. <laughs> and here it generated seven episodes, a seven episode series. We use a four episode series as well. But what is a smart contract? How do smart contracts work? What are the benefits of using smart contracts? What are the challenges of using smart contracts and so forth? I'll choose um, this one and then go ahead to create the series. So what it's doing now, oops, my screen is what it's doing now is it's going to create this uh, seven episode series that I can go ahead and create videos for. There you go. See it? Load up. Awesome. So we now created all the episodes for me. You could think of episodes like blank boxes with like a title on them where 
I know now what I need to do. I don't need to even think about it. I need to make an episode called what is a smart contract. I need to make an episode that explains how smart, smart contracts work and so forth and so forth, which just saved me a bunch of time, makes it very organized. And there's a lot of great things um, about working uh, with series, because if you see that a series is doing well, you can create more and more and more episodes or create a, a similar series to this because you saw that that's what worked. Here's what's been generated. The other thing that we can also help save you time on is if you tap on one of the episodes, uh, we can, we're also going to recommend articles that can help you create the script for making the video. Um, so we'll see that in a second. So we're going to recommend articles for you that are related to this episode of the series. And then just like before, you can either directly create a script from this article, or you can view the source, go over it and then create it. If you find like it, it it's going to answer what you want and you think that the information is, is, is valid enough for you to go ahead and make the script. You could also make a script, the original way, which is writing your own script. And there are a few other ways, which were supporting script creation, which is long text to script, summary to script, article to script is what you saw and write your own script is what I mentioned, uh, where you could just go ahead and create from scratch. Last or almost last, but not least, you can easily schedule it and say, when you have a preferred time to go ahead and make your video. So I just chose, let's say, um, 3 15 PM. I'll go ahead and do that. And what happened when I did that is that. What this thing, all of these episodes are now going to appear as tasks for me in my calendar. And you can see them when you tap on tasks, you can also see that these dots have been added here, meaning that there's a, there are tasks. If I complete them, they'll turn into check marks. And again, this just makes it very easy for me to work smart, to work efficiently, to really focus on the specific tasks that I need to carry out rather than not knowing what to do. And so forth, you also have a queue, which allows you to just look at what is the next thing that I need to go ahead and do versus seeing a bunch of events or tasks. You have a training tab, which makes it easy for us to learn what are your preferences in terms of content creation? What are, in this case, ideas that you like and you would like to create content about? Why is this important? Well, this helps us create much better recommendations for you as a user. We can recommend scripts, we can recommend topics. And we're sort of going to leverage AI in every way that we can benefit you as a content creator versus what's traditionally, you know, as a consumer to keep you in and so forth. We want to help you create content, better content more easily. And this is um, where you could just kind of use this and swipe left and right to state which ideas you like, which ideas you dislike. And of course, you can tap on it to get recommendations about articles related to this topic. That's pretty much it. That is the core of super creator. There's a lot going on, but really our goal is to get you from zero to one, one being a short form video, and then from one to many, many being more short form videos. Um, excited to see people use it, to see what they create with it. And I really am eager to help people solve content creation because I think it is a challenging thing to do. It's very resource heavy, but at the same time, the creator economy is just unlocking a ridiculous amount of opportunities for anybody in the world, because all you need is a phone and pretty much a lot of people have phones these days. And just with the phone, just with you on the phone and, and the passion, the desire to create, I really think the possibilities are endless and excited to share that with you. So hit me up if you have any questions and looking forward to seeing you try it out. Thank you.